Toronto Blue Jays training camp is in full swing and the updates have been phenomenal so far. Whether it be the slim down Alec Manoa, the new arrival of Justin Turner, or Ricky T apparently putting on 19 pounds of muscle, there is a lot to be excited about if you are a Toronto Blue Jays fan. But even with the season just around the corner, Toronto Blue Jays fans can't help but feel that there's some unfinished business with the offseason. A Blue Jays trade at this point feels almost inevitable but is it actually coming? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In this one, folks, we're going to be talking about why everybody seems to think that a Toronto Blue Jays trade is on the horizon and whether or not it's actually going to happen. Before we get into it, I encourage you guys to hit the like and smash the subscribe button if you enjoy Toronto Blue Jays content and discussion so you don't miss any future videos. All right, folks, let's get into it. So the reason that everybody thinks that a trade is coming down the pipe is because the Toronto Blue Jays have so many freak guys who play similar positions. In the last few days alone, the Toronto Blue Jays have brought in Eduardo Escobar and Daniel Vogelbach on minor league contracts. Both of them have infield eligibility. Now, as of today, these players do not have a guaranteed spot on the Toronto Blue Jays roster, but considering their history in the MLB, I don't think it would surprise anybody to see either Eduardo Escobar or Daniel Vogelbach or both of them come to the Toronto Blue Jays at some point this season. And if that was to happen, that would mean you would need to put them on the 40-man roster and to do that somebody either needs to get cut or somebody needs to get traded now you could certainly make an argument for just outright cutting Mitch White but considering the positions that both of these players play it might be more appetizing for the Toronto Blue Jays to go with a trade and that's where Santiago Espinal's name keeps popping up Espinal for a little while now has kind of felt like the odd man out you have Biggio at second along with Davis Schneider and with IKF coming in to play third and potentially Justin Turner taking a couple reps over there, it doesn't seem like Santiago Espinal really has a pathway to getting some actual ABs. Santiago in his own right though is still a pretty talented player and I don't think that he's a guy that the Toronto Blue Jays would just want to outright cut. So with that being said, with the additions of Escobar and Vogelbach and with Ross Atkins literally coming out the other day and saying that if there's going to be additions, there also needs to be subtractions, is there a trade actually coming? Well, to be honest, I really thought that there was until I talked to Shai Davidi on our podcast the other day. Listen to what he has to say. Whoa, time for your daily Betway breather. A quick reminder that the best place to bet is on Betway. Must be 19 years of age or older to play in collaboration with iGaming Ontario. Please bet responsibly. Now, back to the content. The, the Blue Jays also want to be a team with versatility not just in terms of oh these guys can play a lot of positions but they want to be versatile in terms of the types of of lineups they can run out there so if there's a day where they really need strong ground ball defense then this is the group you run out there and if there's a day where uh they feel that they need a lot of contact well then this is the group that you run out there and if there's a day where they feel like they need damage well then you've got a different set so it's like it's almost just like having uh you, you know a different screwdriver for every type of screw that you may fa uh, you may have to use it when you're constructing something so uh, that i think is part of this too where you know the blue jays don't have uh, an everyday guy at second they don't have an everyday guy at third so you try to get a bunch of different pieces to combine into a greater whole. Versatility, having the capability to give a bunch of different looks at a bunch of different times. That's something that Davidi thinks the Blue Jays might want, and honestly, he might be onto something. Now, this doesn't mean that a trade won't ever happen or isn't coming this season. Davidi also makes mention of how all of this talent in the infield opens that door, but I think that based on the way that he is talking about this squad right now, a trade might not be as imminent as some people might think. Maybe the Jays want to enter this season with as many of these players as possible, right? Consistently change up the look, change up the lineup, and based on the scenario, like Davidi says, you can roll out whoever you want. Maybe they also want to hold on to these guys, and then later down the line, maybe at the trade deadline or something, when they're looking at their team and going, okay, uh, we need a bullpen piece. Well, now you can. Now you can take one of those infielders that you've held on to for this long, and you can ship him off and flip 
flip him for that bullpen piece that you need. I know that a lot of people just want to jump at the thought of making a trade, right? But Escobar and Daniel Vogelbach coming in doesn't mean that a trade is immediately going to happen. I think it just means that the Jays now have the option to do that if they want, but are probably going to wait until later in the season to make that decision. But folks, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe there's going to be a trade that happens tomorrow. Really, the only one that knows is Ross Atkins. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, go Jays go!